So yesterday uh, was the 65th day of protests in the city of Elizabeth City over the police murder, the execution of an unarmed black man, Andrew Brown, who was fleeing from police and police opened fire in a school zone at 8.30 a.m. Uh, bullets from the police, uh, horrible shots, ended up hitting their own vehicles that were parked on perpendicular roadways, endangering their fellow officers. Um, and they also ended up entering a neighboring house, uh, potentially killing people if they were present, but thankfully they were out uh, at that current moment in time. Uh, and so that's, you know, that's the story. And uh, so far, all of the officers have not been charged. The shooting was claimed it was justified for whatever reason. I guess almost killing a neighbor of someone is justifiable as well. The fact that they're not like Andrew Womble, the district attorney, has not even mentioned at all the fact uh, that the, uh, you know, the neighbor w was had their house shot up by the cops. Hey, that doesn't matter, I guess. Um, but anyway, so yesterday was day 65 of the protest. We've been going for 65 consecutive days. And, uh, and that's pretty cool. So we all, you know, we're all there. We're at the courthouse to set up. And so another thing is Roy Cooper is going to be out on Sunday. So I'm, again, the show is going to be early on Sunday, 9 to 10. I'm probably going to have to get down there at like around noon 30 uh, because the uh, governor is going to be holding a press conference and be taking questions. Uh, to my understanding, only people that have been marching are allowed to be asking questions. That is going to be the gatekeeping. So if you want to like, you know, drive down to ask Roy a question, sorry, you got to have those credentials. So, uh, so we start the march and we head down to Elizabeth Street, which is the street that contains the Pasquotank County and Camden County Bridge. And so we went there. I took this really good photograph. Look at that shit. Look at that. You got the sun. Woo! Coming right in your fucking face. You got the shadows. You got my knee, which is visible at the bottom left. I, I tried to get it out of the shop, but that's my knee. And we got the shadows being cast. I, lo I love shadows. That's some of my favorite things. And so here we have a sign by uh, someone whom wrote a sign that I had no participatory interaction with. And so the lack of transparency is little dick energy. I didn't say it. Like, I had nothing to do with this. I just saw the sign. I took a photograph. And that's, that was the end of my participation. So at the end of Elizabeth Street, what we did was we decided to march on the bridge. And so what I was doing here was I was standing on like the little thing, the median part of the bridge to get like a nice overhead shot. And I was on some like really wobbly thing. You can see me almost like drop, like almost fall right here. Check this out. Like I'm almost falling as you can see. So check it out. I go like, whoa, you know, whoop. So I'm on this like little wobbly thing and I'll point that out again later. Um. Uh, so we cross the bridge and I get this nice shot from the side. The good, uh, the flag and the breeze was working uh, pretty well there for my photographical, photographical, uh, you know, perspective. So here I'm back on the median. I decided to include the part of me running up there. And so I wanted to get a nice little, you know, you can see all the cars uh, coming across and some of the police escort, which I love. I love, I love a police escort. So while I'm pushing this back here, I want to tell you, Right, so there's like these little, I don't know what these are, but I was standing on these things the first time, and so these are not secure. I thought that they would be more secure, but I was standing on those the first time and I almost fell. Uh, but either way, I wanted to play this segment here because uh, some protesters that were arrested had court appearances uh, yesterday morning, uh, Jim being one of them. And so I asked them about what was going on down there, and uh, you know I got a little bit of an answer. So let's uh, let's listen. Um, Start over. My name is Jim. I was at the uh, the court today um, with uh, two other people, um, two other people, African American. All of us arrested for the same thing. We went to court. When we walked into the court, they said all of us need to get our fingerprints. Okay, we go. They called the two African Americans into the other room. I assume they're getting fingerprinted in the other room. They leave me there for a bit. I think, okay, whatever, I'll be in in a second. I wait 20 minutes. I go and I ask the clerk, what's going on? You guys forget about me. I give them my name. And then they um, give them my name. They go and they check. They say, no, you don't need to get fingerprinted. And they send me out. It turns out that what they did is not only did they have the, the African Americans get printed, uh, they also escorted them, police escort, across the street to the police office uh, to get printed. Just, yeah, welcome North Carolina. And what did the judge have to say about that? I wasn't in there when that when that part happened. Okay. Um, but but yeah, the judge 
my understanding, and you have to talk to someone else, is that he's, he was an out-of-town judge, he was in here, and he just said, I'm not getting involved in politics. Well, then why are you a judge? Is my... <laughs> What is that? Okay, I'm sorry to blow your interview here. You're a judge and you don't want to get involved with politics, By bitch, motherfucker. I just want to point out Jim's shirt, soup for my family. Hot, hot, hot shirt. I gotta say, it's really good. I like Do you know what your job is about? My God. Anyway, anything else you want to say? No, bitch, motherfucker sounds right. So there you go. All right. There you That's what happened uh, yesterday morning. And so again, they're fucking with people. They're fucking with people pretty hard. Uh, and I, again, there's a developing situation. I don't want to like, you know, you know, I don't want to keep saying that, but there's a developing situation. Um, and so, uh, you know, they're potentially fucking with me at this point, but I'll keep y'all posted on this one. But yeah, so they're, they're, you know, the idea that they're going to try to fingerprint only the black people in the courtroom. I mean, that's like, what, <laughs> you know, like what? That's crazy shit. That's bizarre. Um, and so, you know, I just, I thought I wanted to include that and I'm going to try to get, uh, see what some other people that were present had to say about that. Um, an entire branch of government is, I don't want to get political. Like I get, I don't, I, I like, mm, right. But overall the March was okay. Um, you know, it, it, you know, it was a little shorter than I would have liked, but it was okay. And, uh, so I would say, um, I don't know what I would say. It was a march. Uh, we marched. I got some good photographs. I got an interview and I've got a, some good video. So, I mean, it was a march and uh, we marched. And so that's that's what happened. Day 65, folks. Uh, today will be day 66 and uh, there's going to be a lot more days. I mean, it's not going to stop. I ain't going to stop. And so we're going to keep going until it's day 3000. I don't know. We're going to keep going. And uh, so anyway... Um, that's it. That's the recap.